Hey folks, this is the core, your resident entertainment techie, and I hope everyone is doing well. Main version 0.279 dropped right before the beginning of the month, and once again it's coming with more improvements and some interesting fixes. Obviously, Sega Model 2 hardware has been a highlight of the latest developments in MAME, and things are continuing to get even better. Lighting and fixes are now improved in several Model 2 titles. I personally took a look at Daytona USA and it was certainly noticeable. One of the first things that stood out to me were how the tires looked, but after doing more comparisons you can really see that things are night and day. While I didn't see a great deal of difference with Sega Rally Championships, I can still tell things are much brighter in version 02.79, so the improvements are definitely there and things are looking even better than before. Namco System 23 has also gotten some graphical fixes in certain games. Currently, I only have Time Crisis 2 in my library, but there are 6 other titles available on this hardware, so if you've been waiting for System 23 improvements, now is definitely the time to boot up these games and see how they're running. Konami Arcade hardware is also continuing to see more fixes for their 2D games. The Aliens Arcade game has received some graphical improvements with fixes to the 2 player character being the most highlighted fix in this latest version. The TMNT2 hardware has also received more fixes this month with improvements to highlights and shadows. Obviously Turtles in Time is one of the games benefiting from these improvements, but there's also Sunset Riders, another popular western shoot 'em up that I definitely recommend you take a look at if you're not familiar with this title. Mames developers are constantly adding new machines and new games to the emulator and there's one that has caught my attention that is currently a work in progress. Beyond Kung Fu, a sequel to Kung Fu Master, was a prototype that only saw the light of day at test locations. Currently it's working but as you can see, they are still in the beginning stages. With this latest version of MAME, the top menu is now available so you'll at least be able to see the player information. Of course I'm only scratching the surface of what this latest update from MAME has brought to the table. I'll be leaving a link as usual below in the comment section so that you can download the latest version. If you enjoyed this quick update from AIM, please be sure to give this video a like. Also consider subscribing to the channel as I will have more updates that are related to MAME and other emulators in the not too distant future. For now, this is the core, your entertainment techie, signing out.